Hi there, we've just finished our Monday morning prayer meeting at church. It's always good to meet with uh, this bunch of intercessors. They're always encouraging, uh, faith-filled. Uh, we're going to be carrying on with it till the end of um, July and giving everyone a break. But uh, we'll still be available to take prayer requests uh, with our WhatsApp group. We can let them know what to pray for, even if we're not meeting. We do that anyway during the week. I'd like to read to you um, Psalm 126. I just share a couple of uh, counterintuitive thoughts. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, Lord. Like streams in the Negev, those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. So the, the psalm begins uh, remembering what God has done, giving thanks to God and noting that other nations observe the blessings of God. But then it says, restore our fortunes. Obviously, something has gone wrong. So they're remembering what God has done in the past. And they're saying, restore our fortunes. A lot of times we're told to be content. In Scripture, we're told to be content. And yet there is a holy dissatisfaction, a sacred uh, discontent. I was uh, wondering what to do at one point. And we had a guy in our church who was... Uh, like a missionary um, advisor, really. He used to go on visiting and mi advising missionaries. We had a coffee once, and uh, I said, what do you think I should do? And he said, well, what bugs you? What bugs you? I saw the same phrase in a, an online article by Johnny Baker uh, this week, who is a, like a missionary strategist, I suppose, for the Church Missionary Society. And he says, if you're going to do pioneering ministry... You need to first of all ask the question, what bugs you? Uh, it's a strange phrase. We don't use that phrase very much these days. What bugs you? What, what, what gets on your nerves? What, what bothers you? What troubles you? In Christian circles, we often say, what's, what, what burdens you? In a good sense, you can have a burden that's a bad thing. But we often talk about having a burden from God, something that we're carrying, a, a concern, uh, I was talking with uh, Pete's wife, Jo, yesterday, and she's involved in ecological justice issues, doing a PhD in theology. What bugs her is justice and is the concern and the care for the planet that God has given us to look after her. It bugs her. It might be your own children. It might be our own children. It might be unemployment it could be racism it could be the need for salvation and people to come to personal faith in jesus whatever it may be what bugs you what gets on your nerves what troubles you what bothers you that may may just be you but it may just be god prompting you to say look at this thing which is not good or not going well and maybe God has a role for you to play. It may simply be to pray for that situation of need. It may be to get involved. Whatever it is, listen to that voice. What's bugging you? Father God, we pray that you help us to listen to you, hear you, and take action. Amen. God be with you. And he is always with you.